Community advocates are looking to build the bridge between incoming Hispanic families and the city agencies that serve them. Our Caitlin Ashball takes a walk in their shoes. Art Pot pulls together the experiences of Hispanic families across the low country and tonight they're talking crime against their own communities and challenging that trend with outreach. Step by step, we just people, we community, we mom and dad bit by bit. We have a new flow of people that they knew in the area and it's like we went back 10 years. Pushing for a lasting change. Yep. We had a lot of robberies. Some of the robberies actually turned into homicides. Between January and May, violent crimes against Hispanics in North Charleston went up. It doubles the stats from last year, and that's only what's being reported. In April, 37-year-old Heriberto Martinez was shot in his bed after being robbed. And last October, three Hispanic people brutally attacked before offering their wallets. The, the people that are not reporting these issues, and not only affects them, but it affects everybody else within the community. Some families struggle to feel secure when fear of retaliation or deportation is palpable. They looked at us as ice. We had to learn and evolve to be better, be better service of them. That they have rights like everybody else. And if they become a victims of a crime, that there are benefits. But advocates say they're facing something other than distrust. So it was very high, the numbers of people saying, look, I'm sorry, you know, I called to report and I didn't get the help that I need. Tonight, the group bounces ideas off each other for a solution. Breaking language barriers, having more events and programs. But being an eye for the police isn't always a feasible option. You know, the police is, is heavy. The work is very complicated. We feel for them. But we are not people that are prepared to sometimes talk about those things. Art Pot says they believe sharing experiences is what builds trust and understanding in their communities. And they're saying anyone who's interested in getting involved to take the step forward and join them for monthly meetings. Reporting in North Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Y5 News.